that. Can we ask you to go back on the issue of who briefed the president on baby formula? To say there is no specific person is not a satisfactory answer. When you have senior uh, assistance to the president, mm -hmm. there's a paper trail, I'm sure, about briefings to the president. There's a domestic policy council. There's a chief of staff. At some point, we need to know who would have been the most likely person to talk to him. I think what, what I'm trying to say, there are so many issues that come up uh, that is presented Certainly. to the president, as you know, we you've covered that. you've covered many administrations, and there are just regular channels that that happen that it go just to the president. Like it's evasive mm -hmm. to not have the most senior people in the White House willing to say, "I had a conversation with the president about it," or "I had," or "We talked about it in this context or that context," and we're also all reporting on the consumer side of it, of what you're doing, putting out and trying to get information. But we're also trying to understand the information flow in this White House. And it's important for us to get that answer, which is why we're going to keep asking it no, you, until we get that no, answer. No, you, you have every right to keep asking. That's why I'm here. Look, really, Kelly O, he's briefed on countless priorities. Uh, he is the President of the United States. There are regular channels. Uh, he is briefed by his senior White House uh, staff. Um, and that is just the so process that we have. Staff, then? I, I'm, I'm not going to confirm who it was. I'm just letting you know that there are regular channels that we use. Um, and, uh, you know, it's senior, again, senior White House staff that when elevate issues to him uh, when the time comes. And they're just regular channels. And that's that's what I have for you, for you to share there. Okay.